All right, folks, we're back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break this down. So what I would do, since this flap is so big, I don't wanna cut right through the shell because I might use that shell for presentation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take off that organ and get all that fluid out of there. And then just like on any other crab, you know, I'm gonna pull off that back shell. And we're gonna pull off that face part and then these are the lungs we'll pull the lungs right off on either side and take out this little flap and just like any other crab there's all of your your body meat just take these lungs properly off take that face properly off this is all your body meat and then you've got your claw meat so the way that I would do this is now that you have you know a better outline of, of what it is you can uh, fold it in to snap it that'll snap that in too. see all of that meat that's really good body meat um, and so what I what I would do and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run the knife down the body so you've got all this body meat along with this leg meat and that's what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, saute a little butter uh, and uh, garlic and some butter and I'm gonna, you know, s separate it so that you have body meat with the leg meat. Body meat with the leg meat. And this way there's no waste. Here's a little piece of meat right here. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely delicious, guys. It is. That's second to the Alaskan king crab. That meat is so sweet. It's so sweet. See, it's already almost outlined. It's segmented so that you can just follow the line and cut right down. So you got all that meat with the legs. And so there's, you know, you get a nice part of the body meat along with, which is the body meat right here, along with your leg meat. And to crack the legs open, it, it, it's, you can it, check out my other video and it shows you how to crack open. You can either use a uh, the, the backside of a meat tenderizer, but I, what I like to do is I, I like to take my knife and chop it in and twist it. And that usually cracks the, I don't wanna do it right now because it'll splatter the body meat everywhere. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this now and melt some butter and uh, eat it like I would an Alaskan king crab. But that's a lot of meat. That's really nice. Question. You still have your your uh, shelf for your presentation. You have a question? Yes. That uh, the um, the liquid that came out. Can you use that for anything? No, I wouldn't uh, because I you know I, I heavily salted the water and so I don't want to use that in anything. If you're going to use that for any kind of a sauce or a, a, some sort of um, a bisque or you want to make any kind of, um, a, you know, mix it with pasta and you don't add a lot of salt to the water. You just go ahead and cook it regular with no salt and then you add salt after. But I like to heavily salt my water when I cook my crabs because it gives it a lot more flavor. You want to imitate seawater. Whenever you're cooking anything out of the ocean, as far as crustaceans, mollusks, you want to uh, imitate the seawater so that it, it gives it a really good seasoned flavor. Okay. All right. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. You guys take really good care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye for now.